526 Americans gathering. I love this. Great. Thank you so much. Upset about the partisan divide. Let's be real. You are going to listen to other people whom you never ordinarily would encounter. It's a four-day in-person poll called America in One Room. Before arriving, this group took one poll on the major issues in the 2020 election. Here, it's a great question. They listen to candidates, to experts. This is really your time to have your voice heard. And break into randomly selected small groups to talk. When's the last time you talked to a 70-year-old white Republican? I don't think I've ever talked to a 70-year-old white Republican. Until, but, until now. Like the country, this group is deeply divided about immigration. I feel like you should have a wall, a border wall. And along comes ICE, deports them. How can we continue to do that? That got to be a little heated in there. It definitely did. But we've all respected one another and got to hear each other's opinions. And I never thought I would be able to relate to someone that was a Republican. And I have, more than once. More than once. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think it's been interesting to talk to Trump supporters because I don't meet many. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to be a part of this. Seeing all of these people from all of these other walks of life, exactly how my views have changed on it, I'm not so hardcore. And what is your advice about political discourse in this country? You need to listen, not yell, not scream. You need to talk. Results were astonishing. Support for immigrant work visas soared. Opposition to refugees entering the U.S. plummeted. On the economy, Democrats move from the left to the center. People actually listened and changed their minds. It's all part of a model Fishkin developed called deliberative polling. He says he conducted 109 deliberative polls in 28 countries. They almost always result in that conclusion. Take Bulgaria. As the New York Times reported, in 2007, 255 people met for two days to discuss the plight of the Roma, one of Europe's largest minority groups that has long struggled to integrate. Support for desegregating Roma schools went from 42% before the discussion to 66% after. In Northern Ireland earlier that same year, Protestants and Catholics mixed for a day of deliberation over school policy. After, the proportion of Protestants who thought Catholics were open-minded and trustworthy rose significantly and vice versa. What all of this makes clear is that no conflict or policy puzzle is intractable if you engage citizens. 